Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Pyromancer here, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. And this is actually a completely unplanned video, <laughs> but I had an exchange with someone on Twitter that uh, actually made me want to make this video, because there's this huge common misconception with the old gods, and I'm just going to address it because it's something that I see as a counter argument to some things that I say all the time. And it's just very frustrating because there's nothing that says that this is the case. And that is that when we defeated the old gods, Cthun and yogg saron that we just pushed them back into their prisons. I don't know where this comes from, but this isn't true. This is, there's nothing that says that. I mean, I've combed over everything. And unless I've just missed something, which can happen, there's just nothing that says this. Uh, when we defeated the old gods, we're killing them, we're slaying them. Now, there is one whisper that says they do not live, they do not die. They're outside the cycle. But in Chronicle, it says that Yasharaj died. So if Yasharaj died, that does imply living. Death implies life. That is to say that the old gods then would in some capacity be living. Right? I mean, we can see with Gahoon, the, in the infectious kind of weird, you know, kind of just decay thing. It's like a virus. It's like a bacteria, disease. It's very, very similar to, you know, what we generally would presume to be life, right? Now, I want to throw out there that in Chronicle, it talks about us defeating the old gods. So I'm going to use that as my final reference. But I want to just go through a couple of things here. I'm on Wowpedia and the bestiary for yogg -Saron says, Long ago, the Titans imprisoned yogg -Saron deep within Ulduar to save Azeroth from the old gods' destructive power. But after years of plotting, yogg -Saron has succeeded in corrupting its guards. And now the monstrous creature is finally breaking free. The thing is, is that uh, it says that they imprisoned him in Ulduar, right? And when you go into Ulduar and you fight yogg -Saron, the room that you fight Yogg in is literally called the prison of Yogg Saron. So I don't know why people think that when we fought Yogg, we're pushing him back into a prison because it's all we're already in the prison. Like there's chains hanging from the ceiling. There's an like observation deck above with the glass that they can look down through and see the old god. So I'm just I'm sort of confused as to why people still think that. Now, keep this in mind as well, <laughs> when you kill Yogg-Saron, it literally says your fate is sealed. The end of days is finally upon you and all who have it this and all who inhabit this miserable little seedling. And then he says something in Shath Yar, Ulwi ifis halas gag echong, wish, right? Whish. If I'm saying that right. And this means that the shadow of my corpse will choke this land for all eternity. The shadow of my corpse. The thing about this is that corpse is a dead body. Again, this is to imply life, but also death, right? You can't have a corpse if what you're, what, what it is is not dead, right? So yogg saron is being killed. It's the same thing with Cthune, and this is what it says in Chronicle Volume 3. It says the old gods had suffered uh, shocking setbacks in recent years, including the defeat of Cthune and yogg saron at the hands of Azeroth's defenders. They had never anticipated such fierce resistance. They had never anticipated the rise of such fearless heroes. Shrouded in an ocean of fevered dreams, among the bones of nameless horrors, Nazoth remained untouched by the blades of mortals. The old god was certain that Azeroth's champions would eventually seek it out and try to overwhelm it as they had done to Cthun and yogg saron Nazoth was not afraid, but it did sense that a window of opportunity was fast closing. So, again, this is just more evidence to support the idea that the old gods, when we're, when we fight them, we are slaying them. We, we are actually killing them. Now, in my opinion, this sort of would prove that the whisper, they do not live, they do not die, they are outside the cycle, is not talking about the old gods. In my opinion, it's talking about the titans. The titans don't really die. The only time that we've ever heard of a titan dying is when Sargeras cleaved that world in two way before he started the Burning Legion. But the thing is, uh, is that Argus was put through so much torment, and even Argus didn't die. Azeroth has been through so much, even they didn't die. Even after what Sargeras did to the Pantheon, they didn't die. So I, I kind of, I'm hard pressed to believe that uh, Telogris or whatever that Titan world was that Sargeras cleaved into actually even had a world soul in it, if that was even true. Um, and regardless, the fact is, is that uh, 
I don't think Titans actually die. I've talked about this in, in a video before. I'll have a link to that in the description below. But they are outside the cycle. The Titans are supposed to help control the cycle to, to make sure that it's working properly and, and kind of, you know, lead things along the way. They're not, they're not part of the cycle. They dictate the cycle, in my opinion. And so uh, I, I think that that whisper is probably about them. They're not living, but they're not really dead either because how, do you, how does one even define life? If Anr is the life binder and she is the essence of life, then certainly she, she would have had to have been the creator of all the Titans if they're all to be alive, if they're all life, so to speak. But I don't think that that's the case. I think that it's more likely Azeroth as all creation, but that's a different video. The only thing that I've seen that could be counter to this is when you return to Ulduar in Legion, and then you hear an unknown voice, right? You don't even recognize it as yogg uh, telling you, uh, you know, you're a pawn of forces unseen. The thing is, uh, is that we've heard, we've heard Old Gods mimic voices before. We don't know if this is Yogg. We don't know what this is. It could be lingering corruption. It could be literally the Serenite gas making us hear madness because we're going into a room that gets filled with Serenite gas, right? But other than that, there's not really anything that suggests that yogg saron is actually still alive. The point is, I just wanted to make this video because um, I feel like it's something that's sort of, again, unless I've missed something huge, it's like a hearsay thing that just kind of exists in the WoW community about these old gods, and I just simply don't believe that it's true. So if you, if you have any information, quotes or something that prove that this is wrong, uh, and that the old gods are in fact not actually dying when we fight them, then please, please put it in the comment section below because it just I'm just going crazy when I see this <laughs> this being said. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, share this video around if you learned something new. Um, click like, give a positive rating if you liked it. If you didn't, well then don't do that. <laughs> uh, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Again, a very impromptu, unplanned video, but I just something that I, I really needed to throw out there. So I appreciate you guys very much. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!